Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today, you guys, we are in Lebanon, Ohio at the Broadway Antique Mall. We've been here once before. It has been a while. So I'm excited to get back inside, see what we can find. Uh, so without further ado, let's do it. And we are in Lebanon, Ohio, a beautiful historic downtown. Looks like a lot of the buildings have been renovated. Just giving you a quick shot there, but this is our destination today. So uh, excited to do it. Ooh, look at those giant cobalt decanters in there. Interesting. Here it is, guys. They are open seven days a week. Okay, so here we've got a quick panorama of the store. Um, I cannot remember if there's an upstairs or downstairs. I may be mistaken. I don't know on that one. So we're going to give it a shot here, see what we can find. Uh, for example, this amazing lithograph here, wood and paper. Now that one is at 70. So I'm going to leave that one behind, but cool to see. We've got some bottles, some rustics, some primitives, some leather bound books here. We've got the Ladies Repository, uh, volume 27. A little bit of a condition issue on that one. This is interesting. Sacrament of Ecclesiastics, maybe, is what it's saying. Um, we've got some Mary Gregory style. Painting's a little crude for it to, I believe, be real Mary Gregory. Uh, over here, this is cool to see. We've got a lot of the M.A. Hadley uh, pieces here. They are no longer in production. So, uh, as I said previously, if you do see them, snatch them up because the prices are only going up on them. Um, for example, the pig cookie jar here is priced at 80 Got some serving dishes. The horse there at 79 I like the little casserole pot here again at 79 so as i said snatch them up if you find them because they're getting quite desirable um let's see what else we can find here don't see anything there some prints those are at four dollars i don't know that those are original yeah i think they're newer though well done Alrighty guys, I'm gonna see if we can find anything here. Um, it's over here. Look at the little baby head vase with the spaghetti. That is adorable. Um, let's see here. She is at 35. Hmm. Okay, we'll leave that one there. And don't sure in a string, but I'm going to go on the hunt and we'll see what we can pick up, guys. I am not completely out of my head. And yes, you know, Richard and I have a tremendous amount of dollhouse and dollhouse accessories. But what I am seeing are, in particular, these little canned goods here. Look at that in the 112 scale. You get a whole bag of them with the paper labels, antique paper labels. That is $6. I am loving those. Uh, I am also seeing, I don't know, I like these, but um, oh, look at this one here. We've got a little receipt spike, some little accoutrement, the bounty. don't know how I feel about the bounty roll being in there, but that's $4. That's not bad. Um, it's all about the tiny accessories. I'm loving, loving the tiny accessories here. Whoa, we've got some fertilizer and poultry meal and chick feed that is five dollars for that set so we're gonna get all of those and i'm gonna put that hook back up in the wall what else do we have here we've got a little basket look at this with a milk bottle seeds five dollars i'll get that also we're just gonna clean out the little accessories here not in love with it the coffee grinder the seed sacks are okay. I think that we've gotten the best, so we're gonna get these four packs here. We're gonna check out over here. We do have some glass pieces. Um, let's see, Royal Dalton, oh my goodness. There is that honeycomb, that ruby with the stem. That one's at 19. 
It's actually pretty good in comparison to a lot of the decanters that we've been seeing of late. Some very traditional glass. Ooh, we've got some Cambridge glass pieces here. These are really pretty. Uh, it is a three-piece set at 79 uh, so we do have like a compote, console bowl, and a divided dish there at 79. It's really not that bad for the three pieces. I'm going to hold off on those. Oh my goodness. These look like they're little Erzgerberg. Are they? Look at this. It's so sweet. Oh my word. Oh my word. Look at that. Is it Erzgerberg? Sternberg, Western Zone, Steinbach, Germany. This subject matter is killing me. What ones shall we get? Because you know we're going to have to get some. Look at this one over here. She's got a little star. There is some condition issues I am seeing, but I'm not overly mad at it. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, let me figure this out. So I have elected to get these six, this set, this set of three, I think is adorable. And then we've got a little band over here. These are talking about tiny treasures. We're on a tiny treasure run right now, you guys. So I think those are darling, they're precious. And I love, oh my God, they're just, they're just so cute. So I definitely needed to get a basket here for our tiny treasures. Let's put them in there, guys. I just looked these up. They actually go for about 20 to $30 each, of course, depending on the subject matter. So I decided to go ahead and make another partial three set here. We're gonna go with these. Now, yes, she does have some condition issues. I love it. I think it adds to the overall aesthetic. So we're gonna take these three also. How is that a shot for tiny treasures? Let's see if we can find something big though. We want something big, gosh darn it. Bluebird of Happiness spotted. Now I am still gonna continue to look for bluebirds, but as always, I really want them to be interesting or different sculpts that I've never seen before. And one that I've not seen before is this bluebird is in full flight. Normally they're kind of like perched. Um, I can't see the price. Oh, it's at 29. Uh. You guys, I don't know if I feel comfortable spending 29 on the Bluebird of Happiness. I don't know, should I? It's totally a Bluebird of Happiness. Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna think about that one. Antique children's books and ephemera. Um, now this is what caught my eye initially. This book is copyrighted 1922, Grasshopper and the Meadow Mice. This thing, I've had the pleasure of having, having this once before. It is in excellent condition, especially for being 101 years old. The illustrator is John Ray. It is bright, it is crisp. There's no rips or tears at $4. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and add that into the mascot. Maybe not right now, Michael, but we've got Sunny Bunny over here. This one is copyrighted 1918. Look at the condition of this book. My goodness. Um, we do have a rip down here. We've got Mr. Murphy. What are you, a potato, sir? Are you a beet? No, you're not. A, I'm not excited by that one. Honey Bear. These all look like they're from the same publisher. Don't love it. The Dinky Ducklings. Oh my goodness, now this one. Where are we at? They have 1928 copyright on this one. Ooh, I think Dinky Duck is gonna have to come with us. Little Slam Bang, hmm, 1928, Ugh, not feeling the illustrations as much on that one. So, uh, what do we have here? Little stories about little animals for little children, all the little things, 1909. It looks like we're mostly in black and white with a few color plates. I'm gonna leave that one there. Checking out some ephemera here. Great antique ephemera, but I'm not seeing any that are really calling my name, though I hadn't looked in here fully. Um, these are pretty. A little advertising cards. I'll see if there's anything in here for us. Well, cool to see, but I don't see any that are really screaming um, half to have. Now, we do have some larger advertising cards up here. That is a beautiful graphic on that one. 1893, we have a calendar. 
these guys are all priced individually. Um, there's another calendar. Look, what are you doing, child? He's discovering his toes. The scientist, it says. McLaughlin's coffee. Is it glazed? All right. Okay, enough of the ephemera. Let's move on. What do I see in this white shelf? What I see is this giant amber ball and claw bottle. Oh, shoot. Yes. And it's only $17. Oh, my God. Yes. Ball and claw bitters. I'm definitely getting that at $17. That is a deal. We're excited by that. Um, ooh, there's an Oz book. But that's at 200 so we're going to leave that one there. Okay, we're going to leave that one there. All right, I'm going to see what else I can find. We do have more children's books, but we've got Disney and uh, Dr. Seuss. Not my thing, not my thing. More Dr. Seuss. The Pixie on the Farm, excuse me. Let's check it out. It's sad but true. While there are a few illustrations, it's bath time apparently. There's not a ton. There's not a ton of them, but I don't know. The condition is excellent. We do have some illustrations in there. Uh, what do you think, you guys? Let's see, it's mostly... We do have some good illustrations, but not a lot. I don't know. Where are we at on that? You know what? It actually doesn't have a price. Or am I just not... No, I don't see... A price on this one. Um, oh, we've got the little white gnome. Oh, the tint. Oh, look at the bobby bear. Oh my gosh. Okay. There's some great children's ephemera in here. Books. Um, it's all green. Simple. Where are we at? This one's 1935. I'm not in love with it. This one. I've had a couple of these. These are actually part of a series. This is 1920. These have, it's kind of like the original Toy Story. So certain toys they would concentrate on. There was a bear, there's a doll, there's a tin soldier. Uh, and they would come alive at night and kind of make their way out into the world. So few illustrations. This one's priced at $4. You know, I wonder if we don't maybe put those together and sell them as a lot. I think that, that could be something that would be cool the graphic on the front of this this is one page taped six dollars that looks like a pulp 1946 is an inscription um it's a nicer pulp one this is interesting i'm not in love i'm not in love gotta say all right so the basket is filling up with strange things and we love the strange things so we're gonna go on the hunt for some more stuff see what else we can find symbolique some lennox there i do love lennox i know that some people might think oh it's so common but you know i think it's very timeless and you can really do some wonderful things with it um, I do see that pink quilted. I like this one. Looks like it's almost like a bis not a biscuit jar. There's no handle. Oof, that is rough on the top, like dangerously sharp. Hmm. Let's live on the edge. Oh shoot. Okay, so the lid. I see the price tag is inside. Let's see what we got here. 69 on that one. So that's gonna live there for now until someone else comes along. All right, I will see what else we can find. I caught these out of my eyes. There's one here and one up here. It says Spoofies. My name is Mr. Humpty, just a roly-poly boy. Lots of fun, good nature too, a laughing jolly toy. What is going on? These look like they might be one Spoofies kit. Um, so kind of like a DIY here. What is going on? I wonder if it's complete. Let me get in here. Looks like we have the kit for Simple Simon and there he is. So there is a pattern, but I, it, there's a sock with some literal batting to stuff him in. It looks like the pieces, the fabric has already been cut, including the felt. I don't know how I feel about it, if I'm gonna be honest. So I'm gonna leave that one here at 28, though the packaging 
It's pretty gosh darn cool. I wonder, I might be tempted on this one. Let's see what the other one is. This one is from Mother Goose, so sad but true, but if it was Humpty, I might have been tempted. Oh well. Alrighty guys, we do have a collection of blue glass over here. We've got 1915. Those are really the only ones that I'm seeing that I'm just in love with. I think the prices are very fair. Uh, I've sold them before, so I'm kind of hesitant to want to get them again so soon. So I am going to leave those ones behind. How about that Ellie Smith Moon and Stars Blue Compote for only 18 Very similar to the candy dish. The big difference is you see how on the top it kind of folds in a little bit more than it would. So it doesn't leave room for a lid. And I found that by opening the cabinet. So that said, let's see what else might be in store below where we can't see. Cabinet 2. What do we got down here? Ooh, opalescence. Look at that. Pretty. Little calling card dish, almost like a little bonbon tray. Oh my gosh. Okay. Catastrophe averted. Ten dollars for that. Hmm. I love it. Am I being a giant sucker right now? I can't help it. I can't help it. Okay, in the basket. Net three. It's down here. Who are you? You're at 59. Look how, how it's like translucent. Oh, like a pink case, not bad. Duncan Miller back here. Again, some more pink opalescence. Duncan Miller is one of the most underrated opalescent manufacturers. Look at how beautiful that color and that opalescence is. So underappreciated, just not a whole lot of resale value on it, at least right now. Now you do see this 12, look at this sugar bowl with that red, ruby red glass. That one's at 92. Beautiful to see, but obviously we're going to leave that one behind. We do have some mid-century. 35 on that hand-blown. Oh, I don't know. Or is it 28? It looks like it might be 28 on sale. Cool. I did spot this little bisque baby donkey. He's only $8. Look at how angelic. This is going to be gone gotten and gifted to a very special someone who has continuously helped me out during my live sales. Ruthie B. Girl, this one's coming to you. Ooh, look at that over there. I see it. Do you see it? Do you know me by now? Oh, there's another one right there too. What is it? It's purdy is what it is. It's 37. It looks like it could be Fenton almost. It's early glass. Look at that. Ooh, that single 37, pink and white, case satin, 37. I like that. It's dramatic. Do we want it for 37? But look down here. I thought, yeah, there is another one right down here. Oh, it's a little bit different, but this one's at 40. More of a jack and pulpit shape. Oh, no. Ooh, this is wrong. Someone had that at 225. Aggressive. Do we need both? I don't know that we need both, do we? Why is this one 40 and this one's 37? I like this one better, to be honest with you. Hmm. They're old, that's for sure. This one needs cleaned up, but it's, this one's almost got like a slide glass effect to it. This feel of this is so different. Hmm. I don't know. I think we should get this one at 37 for sure. I really like that early kind of Victorian vibes to it. Let's get this for sure. How about some global birds? I wonder how much these are. Let's see. Ah, 30. Darn it. I love those. But at 30, there's not a lot of room left on it for me. Oh, here's like an early Austrian. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at how tiny. 29 on that one. I'm gonna leave it there. It would be for me anyhow, and I'm really trying to be here you guys. I really truly am. Okay, let's see what else we can find. All right, so we've obviously got a little display cabinet of different things over here. We're gonna check it out. I do see these bird salt and pepper shakers. I don't know if I'm overly in love with them. They kind of have a rough majolica. I'm not in love with them, to be honest with you. What is this? Clown piggy. 
Ah, he got broken. What's going on here? What is this? What is that? I don't understand. What is this? Why is this disturbing? So he's broke. What is this? Oh, it's a little sugar. Why is that making me uncomfortable? Do you see that? It's the little hands coming out at you. Like, er, I'm going to get you. Is it for all three? What is it? Clown, great. Clown, piggy, black, salt, pepper. Is it for all three, though? I mean, he's broke. Now, this one I'm loving. But it doesn't, I don't know if it's priced separately. If it is, I don't see where... I mean, that is freakish, though, right? So I do see some smaller swung vases. The clear one is the one that's actually the most interesting. I'm looking at this base. I have never seen that in a base before. 29. That's really not that bad. I'm wondering if maybe I do get that. Um, they want 39 for the green. The amber, I'm really loving that one. Ew. Who? Who is it? 49. Fenton. 49 dollars. That is, that's, I've never seen that as a mark for Fenton. Hmm. Interesting. This is called Old Virginia. It's from the 70s, so not Fenton. Uh, I'm, you know, at 49. It's just not there. Though I will say, this clear one is really different. It's definitely older. 29. I'm probably going to go ahead and get this one, you guys. Well, guys, it looks like our basket overfloweth. So, um, yeah, don't forget the tiny treasures we have down below. But I think that is everything that we are going to go ahead and get for today. Um, definitely a great shopping excursion. And uh, we'll do the final wrap up outside, guys. Alrighty, guys. Well, there you have today's Shop With Me video back here in Lebanon, Pennsylvania at Broadway Antique Mall. As always, you guys, down in the comments, let me know what your favorite find of the day was or the item you wished I had most picked up. Either works, and you know I'd appreciate it. And until next time, guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.